What is up, YouTube? I appreciate y'all coming back to another episode on the Starns Built YouTube channel. Uh, so, back on the mini bike. And what I did kind of behind the scenes, excuse my children screaming, um, I added front and rear hydraulic brakes. Uh, there's, there's kits you can buy on eBay, and I got the front and rear. Um, they're basically just, uh, they're, they're front and rear hy hydraulic calipers that, uh, you, that are a bolt-on kit. Uh, I mean, I assume for this bike and, and other bikes that use, where's the caliper at? All right, hold on one second. That use this style of caliper. Let me get it in so you can see what I'm talking about. So if your, your pocket bike has a caliper, let's see if I can get it to focus, that looks like this one. Not real focused real good, but... It wants to focus on the pavement, not the caliper. Anyway, I hope y'all can see that. I mean, it, you should be able to see that. Uh, if your caliper looks like this one, there's a kit on eBay you can buy. And it's like 30 bucks for the front, and probably, I think it's about the same for the rear. Um, and, you know, if your bike is stock, um, it's a bolt-on kit. You won't have to do anything. My particular uh, um, application here is a little bit different. Um, I extended my swing arm in the rear. About five inches. So the brake line that came with this one uh, was too short. So I had to buy a longer one. And I never realized how cheap those things were. So I, I just went ahead and bought two. Uh, a red one for the rear and a red one for the front. And that's what you see on here right now. So that's how it looks. All bolted up. There's a brake line. You know, it runs up this way. And then the rear. The only mod I had to do to get it to work was um, the bolt spacing on the actual mount itself was too narrow. So I just took a, a larger drill bit and drilled this hole just a little bit larger. And it got me the spacing I needed. And I was able to uh, put this one on here with no fuss. So here's, your, here's my brake line. Runs up. And I'm going to have this thing probably tucked up over up under here a little bit um, I'm just I haven't got to that point yet but it will be more hidden than that but uh, I mean they work extremely well I mean if you've been following my videos um, you know you'll know this thing is kind of beastly uh, the, it's got a, a built motor in it so I wanted to make sure that I could be able to stop safely <laughs> and uh, so I went ahead and upgraded to hydraulic front and rear brakes Here's how the, uh, the handles look. You know, there's your master cylinder right here. These are the fronts. The rear is identical. And um, also one thing I did too was I, uh, I flushed all the brake fluid or <laughs> whatever they call brake fluid out of the uh, master cylinders. And I put my own uh, dot four stuff in it. Um, so makes me feel a little bit better. Plus the sludge they had in there. I don't even know if it's even brake fluid to be honest with you, but... Uh, that's probably one thing I'd recommend you do is do a do a reflush, put some good dot four in there, and uh, you should be uh, cooking with Crisco, as they say. But um, guys, I just want to touch base, give a little update video on my favorite little pocket bike here, and uh, there's going to be a driving video very soon. We are we're T minus uh, a short time from driving this thing around, and I will certainly bring you guys along for the ride. But at this point, I bid you adieu and have a great evening and we will see you on the next one.